Japanese, and South Korean naval commanders toured a U.S. ballistic missile submarine off Guam in what was described as a first. The tour of the USS Maine, an Ohio-class submarine, came just weeks before the Pentagon announced its decision to deploy one of the nuclear-powered vessels on regular patrols to the Korean Peninsula. The move has been met with mixed reactions, with some analysts saying it is aimed at containing China rather than deterring North Korea. This paper aims to explore the implications of this development and what it means for the US, Japan, South Korea, and China. The Tour of the USS Maine The tour of the USS Maine by US, Japanese, and South Korean naval commanders was described as a significant step in advancing the trilateral relationship between the three nations. The Seventh Fleet said it was an example of how the US had advanced a trilateral relationship that was forward-leaning, reflective of shared values, and resolute against threats that challenge regional stability. However, it is unclear if the Maine is the same vessel that will be sent to the Korean Peninsula. The deployment decision came after a request from South Korean President Yoon suk yeol for the United States to deploy more of its strategic nuclear assets to deter North Korea from ramping up missile tests. Chinese Reactions Chinese analysts have expressed concern about the deployment of a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine to the Korean Peninsula. Beijing-based naval expert Li Jia said the U.S. was using North Korea as an excuse to deploy the vessel to the area, a decision that could be seen as part of the U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy to contain China from the north. Li said the Ohio-class subs coming visits and the public display of cooperation with Japan and South Korea are America's new strategy in the north. He said this followed the AUKUS deal earlier this year to supply Australia with nuclear-powered subs, part of the U.S. strategy to contain China from the south. Implications for the Indo-Pacific the deployment of a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine to the Korean Peninsula has implications for China. Song Dongping, a former People's Liberation Army instructor, said sending U.S. strategic assets to the peninsula more regularly would increase U.S. strategic nuclear weapons on China's periphery, putting Beijing under pressure. It could also be a message for U.S. allies. Playing up the nuclear threat from North Korea by increasingly sending strategic nuclear weapons might also hint that Washington may let Japan and South Korea develop some tactical nuclear weapons, just as it has done to Australia, Song said. The deployment of a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine to the Korean Peninsula has significant implications for the US, Japan, and South Korea. Colin Ko, a maritime security expert with Singapore's S. Roger Rottenham School of International Studies, said the continued provocations from North Korea encouraged the U.S. to advance cooperation with Japan and South Korea. There are those in, South Korea, who might have resented Beijing for not doing enough to reign in Pyongyang too, Ko added. The deployment could also be a message for U.S. allies that the U.S. is committed to their security. Conclusion the tour of the USS Maine by U.S., Japanese, and South Korean naval commanders and the deployment of a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine to the Korean Peninsula has significant implications for regional stability and the balance of power in Northeast Asia. While the move is aimed at deterring North Korea from ramping up missile tests, some Chinese analysts believe it is part of the U.S. nuclear deterrent strategy to contain China from the north. Until next time, take care.